Now, taking these five drivers into account, agility, testability, deployability, scalability, and then finally availability, let's investigate a second question in this keynote. How do we move from our monolithic, end-tiered, layered architectures over to this level of modularity such as microservices? This move from monoliths to microservices, breaking these apart, is exactly like a steeplechase. Steeplechases are really hard and really dangerous. As a matter of fact, if you've never ridden a horse before, which I imagine most people in this audience haven't, then you will constantly fall off that horse. And this is pain. This is the kind of pain most companies and most teams are currently experiencing moving to microservices. It is hard. It is a steeplechase. And you will fall off that horse, and you will get hurt. You know, doesn't it make sense when we move from monolithic and tiered layered architectures over to a level of microservices, this level of modularity, doesn't it make sense to learn how to ride a horse first? And once we've learned how to ride a horse, then we learn how to ride a horse fast. And once we've learned how to ride a horse fast, then and only then do we tackle these steeplechases. Exactly. This makes perfect sense. So let's see how to apply this concept of learning how to ride a horse first with architecture. What does that mean, learning how to ride a horse before we end up doing a steeplechase? What it means is taking our monolithic and tiered layered architectures and start to break those apart, but not to the level of microservices first. That's a steeplechase. Let's learn how to ride a horse by moving to something like service-based architecture first. In this architecture style, you can see that we're still splitting apart the functionality, but instead of having hundreds or thousands of services, separately deployed units of software in our ecosystem, no, we only have anywhere from six to 12, all talking to the same database. We don't need to distribute the database. As a matter of fact, we don't even need to tackle splitting up the user interface at this point either. We've achieved a level of modularity, therefore increasing all those drivers that we saw but learning how to ride a horse. There are two advantages of this kind of architecture style. First, this architecture does not require DevOps, kind of the operational automation required by microservices. As a matter of fact, it doesn't even require organizational change. Now, this kind of architecture is deployed in the same crappy deployment pipeline you have now. Nothing changes in your ecosystem. That is learning how to ride a horse. But here's the secret sauce. The secret sauce is now we can start to evolve our ecosystem. We can start to play around with things like Docker or Kubernetes or Spring Boot or Ansible. And if they don't work, we simply pull them back out of that ecosystem and try something else. It's not required, but it certainly helps. But we can let this evolve over time. 